Hello everyone and welcome to another week here at Newlands Primary School. And of course, as a Monday, it is Challenge Assembly. Now, last week we had a fantastic week with Week of Being Healthy and we learned and we practiced a lot of different things over the week around how we keep ourselves healthy, whether it be with our minds or our, our bodies, or if it was both something that fits our minds and bodies. And y'all did a fantastic job. And later this week, we got the poster competition winners, and we're gonna have loads of, of a video that shows all the wonderful things that you did last week. But until then, we now need to set a new challenge for this week. And this week, our challenge is around sleep. Yes, sleep. Sleep is so, so very important. Now, if you don't get enough sleep, then our behavior and how we feel about things can get a little bit grumpy, yeah? You don't feel as good, get negative. And so it's really important that we get enough sleep. Now, children need to get a lot of sleep. Now, if you are three to five years old, so if you're three, you're four, you're five years old, you should be getting 11 to 13 hours sleep. Yes, that's a lot of sleep, but that's what your body needs for it to grow properly and help you to be ready for the next day. If you're five, six, seven, eight, nine, getting it to be around 10, then you need 10 to 11 hours sleep. Now, most of you in school, that's what you fall under. You are somewhere between five and 10 years old and you should be getting 10 to 11 hours sleep. Now, let's think about that for a moment. If you go to bed at eight o'clock, eight to nine, nine to 10, 10 to 11, 11 to 12, 12 to one, one to two, two to three, three to four, four to five, five to six, six to seven. So if you want 11 hours sleep, you go to bed at eight o'clock in the evening and get up for seven, you'll get your 11 hours sleep. You start to get a lot more than that, less than that, you're going to feel a little bit off. Now, I know a lot of you don't get that much sleep. And because of that, you might feel grumpy in the morning. You won't get up in the morning. You won't feel like having your breakfast in the morning. And everything gets a little bit more negative. So it's really, really important that you get your sleep. Now, if you are in year six and you're 10, 11 years old, they say that you should start being around eight and a half to nine and a quarter hours. So maybe a little bit less sleep, but sleep is really important. This is the time that our brains relax and our bodies grow. That is when most of our growing happens is at night. Now, something, I just can't sleep. A lot of children tell us that, I, I, I just can't sleep. Mind's buzzing. Now there are a lot of things that you can do to help you to sleep better. One of the things that you would help you to sleep better is not to use any devices like your phone or your tablet or or the TV for about an hour before you go to bed. The light in the TVs and the tablets and your phones helps to think, makes your brain think that it's still daylight and that you shouldn't be sleeping, so that could be a problem. But also, it doesn't help your brains to relax. If you take yourself away from those devices and doing the watching YouTube and all that, it'll help you to start to relax so that you can fall asleep and sleep longer. Now, making sure you set that bedtime, and you might have a routine. Maybe it's that you go take a bath, take a shower, wash your hair, put some nice fresh jammies on, maybe read a little bit, have a bedtime story, maybe listening to some nice calming music brushing your teeth, those things help us to remind our bodies and our brains that it's time for us to go to bed. So you need to have some sort of routine. Another way to help you to go to sleep is to do your mindful breathing. Because remember, when you do your deep breathing, it helps to make your brain believe that it's relaxed. 
So taking nice deep breaths. Doing that for two or three minutes, really taking lots and lots of deep breaths will help your body just to relax while you're laying down, do that. That can help as well. Also, if you're trying to figure out what you want to do, thinking about mindful gratitude. Mindful gratitude is when we give thanks for some of the things that have been good in our lives. So each night you should think of one or two different things that you really, really happy that happened during the day. Maybe it's something that you've done, something you've learned, someone you've met, someone you've talked to, something you've seen. And think about that and talk with your parents. Have a good conversation with your parents about that. Now, there are some wonderful meditations that you can get on YouTube or on your phones, but you need to talk to your parents about that because remember, you really shouldn't be watching them. So if someone's playing them in the background for you, then that can help you to go to sleep or playing some nice, quiet meditation music. Sleep is in extremely important for us to have a healthy body and mind. If we don't get enough sleep, then it makes us start to feel poorly. And if we start to feel poorly, then things just feel as if they're all going wrong. We want to be happy, bright, and alert for the day and have a good day. And it really all starts with having a good sleep. So make sure you get enough sleep. Right, your challenge for this week is to get sleep. Yes, let's see if you can sleep a little bit more this week than you did last week. Talk to your parents about getting more sleep. Talk to your neighbor, talk to your teacher if you're having trouble with getting to sleep or staying asleep. Let's all help each other to sleep better have a good evening, have a good night, and have a great next day because of a good night's sleep. All right, everyone, this week's challenge, let's get some more sleep. All right, have a good week. I'll see you later. Bye.